once you open up diagrams.net, then this is what you see. Let me just go around and maximize this. And you can see that it says create a new diagram or open up existing diagram right here. So what we're going to do is create a new diagram. If you are using the web version, then you will also be prompted to save up the diagram in Google Drive or any cloud stores as well. But here in our case, we're using the desktop version so that um, so you can see that it directly prompts me to save it on my computer right here. But if I were to go around over here uh, and you can see that there's many different templates that we can choose from, but we are going to focus on blank uh, diagram right now. So over here, I can uh, give a file name according to how you want. So I'm just going to go around and type in as JudaTube and you can see that I can save uh, out the file in different format, like an XML format that is draw.io format right here, draw.io, which is uh, uh, the diagrams.net old application name as well. You can also save it as PNG, SVG, HTML or XML, but I'm just going to go around and use the default format right here. So once we do that, we can go around over here. This is what you have, as you can see. I'm choosing blank diagram now, and I'm going to click on the create button. So once I do that, this is what you have right here. But if I were to go around, uh, this is not actually saved right now properly. So I'm going to go to file and click on save. If you are using the web version, and if you choose the, um, uh, choose, let's say a cloud drive, then it will be saved automatically in the particular chosen cloud cloud. Uh, cloud drive, but I'm going to click on save right here. And this is what you see as you can see. So I'm just going to go around over here on my tutor drive. And I'm just going to go around and say tutor tube diagram right here, just like this and click on save. So once I do that, what happens is that it get, gets saved over here as you can see. On the top, you can go around and you can see that this is what you have. So you can go around over here and you can see that this is the renaming area right here. If you're using the web version, you can click and rename that out. But on the desktop version, you're not allowed to rename it out right over here directly. So uh, if you want to open up, uh, let's say, a, a file that is saved, then you can go around onto file, click on open, and then you can go around onto the, uh, let's say, particular drive and click on it and open up the di diagram from over there. And you can also go around over here and then go around onto file and go to open recent to see whatever file you have that you have opened recently. So this is how you can go around and create a blank diagram and choose a save location and even open out save files inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.